So we already discussed that the scanner organization is that the scanner is a helper class. So when we create an object of type scanner, like this, new scanner, we create a new object, it gets input to the system input, which is attached to the keyboard. So somewhere there's this uh, system input in our system, which contains a buffer of characters, which is connected uh, through the operating system to the keyboard. Okay, so the scanner that when we create it, we specify the system input to use as an input uh, a source, right? So it has a reference to this uh, uh, system input um, uh, object. And then, um, because right here everything is under control, the scanner has access to the input buffer object. Input buffer object knows pretty well how to control the keyboard. Theoretically, theoretically speaking, there is no need uh, to throw exceptions in the way of processing um, this uh, uh, input from the keyboard. Everything should be under our control. Everything is predictable. Whatever keys the user is using on the keyboard, everything should be handled by simple methods without exceptions. So these um, input validations, validation methods built into the scanner class uh, help us to basically program the same thing without the need to process exceptions. So I just want to show you because uh, those methods are, are available and we can rewrite this method, uh, create a second version of this method uh, without even uh, the need for try and catch. So let's uh, see what... Uh, what this may look like. So first what I'd like to do is uh, just uh, make a copy of this method and uh, I really don't have a good name for this method so I'll just uh, name it the get int2. Okay so just another another way of getting int. Uh, it should really be not uh, even visible to the outsider what is the difference between the two. But this is an alternative version of get int. Uh, the same idea with the prompt. So first I will declare this result. I now will say, okay, let's uh, have this integer uh, result um, variable available to us. I know that because we need to be retrying uh, in case if uh, there is not a successful uh, input, uh, I will uh, continue using the endless loop. Okay, so we'll just uh, move this loop right here and add endless loop uh, to this method as well. Then on top of the loop we're going to display the prompt. Okay, so first thing that we do, we display the prompt. And then we can start using this method built into the scanner and say that if scanner already has uh, next uh, int, this is the method that is available right there. Okay, so then uh, this uh, is a preview of what is contained in this uh, uh, input buffer that we used uh, with the scanner to get the input from, which is attached to the keyboard. So, has next int really kind of verifies the presence of a good integer input format available. And therefore, uh, what I say here we can do, uh, what we can do is we can just process the result the same way, right? The result equals uh, scanner next int. Okay, so it should be safe to get this. We should no longer run into this input mismatch because we already checked the, the format by uh, using has next int. Uh, then we can, of course, uh, call next line. Okay, and then we can return the result. So basically the same steps uh, in case uh, if uh, uh, the input format uh, checks out to be nice. Otherwise, right, so otherwise this is not uh, a good format. So has next in failed. So apparently there is some kind of input, but it didn't really work well. Of course, what we can do is we can display again the 
uh, the same kind of processing that we did before right so we can say invalid in an input format and also next line to um, eliminate um, any uh, basically discard any other types of data that was entered because once again the design is the same we want to be able to use get int um, in cases where we're expecting the user to type a number numeric value uh, on the keyboard and hit enter to proceed forward with the program execution so let's uh, give this uh, this new version a try so i will just go back to our main method where we're trying to uh, use this uh, um, validation cases and i'll just re, uh, rename it here right so i'll just start calling get into the second version so just remember that the second version of get int uh, was designed here to demonstrate that because the scanner environment should be predictable enough you really don't have to rely on exceptions uh, there are some methods that allow you to check uh, the inputs already present so let's try this this is kind of i'm curious how uh, how this version of the code will work so i'll just save it and run it so let's test so we start somewhere at the top and uh, i will first type something in and here uh, the prompt uh, uh, enter an integer but this time we're running from within the second version of get int so right get uh, uh, enter an integer let me first enter something nice four five six and everything uh, seems to be working fine so has next int succeeded we got our integer we converted it to an to an integer result uh, we eliminated the new line because we don't want that new line to stay in the input buffer and then we return uh, the result which then we printed uh, on the next line right here on uh, the next statement inside our main uh, method all right so the second time uh, we'll try so the first prompt was up at the top and now again we're running uh, this uh, uh, second uh, prompt um, and uh, this time we'll try a uh, an input that does not look uh, uh, look like a numeric input and you can see that uh, we're just very nicely this has int prevents uh, uh, first of all it doesn't throw an exception uh, it's just a safe way to check whether this input is something that could be converted so we can try this again you know with whatever uh, whatever inputs and uh, when we enter a good integer it'll work if we try to enter a an empty line unfortunately uh, empty line uh, does not um, uh, is, is not um, uh, going to uh, return immediately uh, from uh, next int we just simply consume uh, by using the scanner we consume any kind of um, uh, uh, white space uh, entries and that includes the, um, uh, the the when you hit the enter key okay so that's just the way this is this is by design this is how console input works so now if i type four five six later on now i hit enter and it still continues to work so i'm uh, reasonably satisfied with the result and i just wanted to show you this alternative way of uh, saying get int okay so one is with uh, by relying on input mismatch exception and the second version is just using this special method built uh, into the scanner